Hello, everybody. My name is Coach Valerie Green. And all right, I'm going live. Great. Hi, everyone. My name is Coach Valerie Green. And I help couples to stop fighting and fall in love again. And I also help women to inspire their men to deeper love and intimacy. And I'm excited about the topic of the week, which is how to stop holiday conflict in its tracks. So it's the holidays, and let's just imagine that we are baking a holiday pie. So we're going to use this analogy to demonstrate the process that I call solutionizing, which is basically getting underneath the surface of any conflict and finding a, a win-win solution to virtually any conflict. So imagine you're baking a holiday pie, and what's your favorite holiday pie? Is it pecan? I like pecan pumpkin or apple. Well, you're going to need ingredients, and the first ingredient that you probably think of is sugar or, you know, honey if you want to eat whole foods. So that is what makes the holiday pie sweet, right? Because that's the most important thing about a pie, a holiday pie, is that it's sweet. Well, the most important thing about solving conflict is creating a sweet environment so that you both feel emotionally safe, right? If you feel emotionally safe, then the conversation is going to be more sweet. And those people that avoid conflicts are going to be willing to engage in the conversation. So what I mean by emotional safety is that you really are not going to feel criticized for your point of view or judged for your point of view, that your partner is going to give you empathy and compassion and validation for your point of view, right? So that's empathy, compassion, and validation. And in my blog post this week that's called How to Stop Holiday Conflict and Its Tracks, I go over... Um, a few questions to ask each other to get underneath each other's point of view and to be able to give each other empathy, compassion, and validation to provide that emotional safety that makes the conversation sweet. And that's things like what's their history behind their point of view? What's their beliefs? What's their deeper values underneath their point of view? And to be able to give each other empathy and compassion and validation for, you know, your deeper beliefs and values and history around your point of view. So in my blog this week, I talk about a couple who was fighting over the holiday budget. And, you know, that's something a lot of couples tend to fight about. So basically using these questions that I outline in my blog of the same title this week, we were able to get deeper into their point of view. So she really got to hear underneath the conflict. She got to hear... Um, what was important to him about giving a gift to all of the nieces and nephews to be able to honor the family tradition, to participate in the family bonding experience and why that was so important to him and really be able to say that makes sense to me even though that's not my point of view. That makes sense to me that you experience it that way. So that's the validation part. And he was able to experience the empathy and validation for her point of view um, which was that she didn't want to get into debt giving to all these nieces and nephews, which is what they were fighting about, because she grew up uh, in an environment where her parents were in debt and she felt a lot of pain growing up around that. And so she was really scared of that same pain with them and their children. And so then he can give her empathy and compassion for their point of view. So that is the first part of the, uh, you know, creating the holiday pie, which is the sugar the emotional safety, which is empathy, compassion, and validation. So that's the first step in finding a win-win solution, is that emotional safety, really getting underneath each of those points of view. And like I said in my blog post this week, I give you questions to ask each other to have the conversation and have that safety. So the next step in solutionizing, because you might be wondering, all right, now I feel compassion, now what do we do, right? So the next step in solutionizing you can think of another ingredient in a holiday pie, which is eggs. <laughs> so you can think of the yolk of the egg representing the part of your point of view that you will not compromise on. This is what you will not budge on. And then you can think of the white of the egg. 
So the yolk is what you won't compromise on. The white of the egg is the part of the issue that you are flexible on, that you can compromise on. So by identifying this beforehand, that's what allows you to create a win-win solution where you're both compromising what you are flexible on. So you both feel like you win because you didn't give in on what was most important to you. So with this couple in my blog, what we did was we asked them these two questions. And so these are really important questions. Number one is what do we agree about? And number two is what are our common goals? So they realized that they agreed that they could honor his area of inflexibility, which is giving to all of the nieces and nephews. But he was flexible on how much they spent. Right? And then he could agree to support her on her area of inflexibility, which was that she was not willing to go into debt. But she was flexible on how much she gave to her retirement that year. So by asking each other those two questions, which are, number one, what do we agree about? And number two, what are our common goals? They realized that they did have common goals and they could agree on a budget that honored both of their areas of inflexibility so they didn't have to compromise on what was most important to each of them. So for her, it was honoring the family tradition, I mean for him, and for her, it was not getting into debt. But they could compromise on what was both flexible for them. Um, you know, so she found some extra money from her retirement that year and he, he was able to lower his budget and they came to a win-win solution and that's how they both felt like they won, right? So those questions again are, what do we agree about and what are our common goals, right? After you identify the, the, after you provide the sugar and the eggs, right? The empathy, compassion, and validation is the sugar. And the egg is determining what part of the issue you're flexible on and what part you're inflexible on. So that's the solutionizing process. So we can think of this as um, at honoring an important principle in relationships, which is moving from me to we. So you can think about this as like running a three-legged race. So consider what happens when you're running a three-legged race and one of you decides to go in a different direction, right? You're probably going to fall flat on your faces, right? Because you're not coordinating your movements. So it's the same thing with our conflicting points of view when we have conflict. That, you know, it's like we're running a three-legged race and we just have to move together. And that's really what allows us to create those win-win solutions in the solutionizing process and have the conflict bring you closer so that you feel like you're on the same team. So um, if you haven't seen it already, I do have a free training on my homepage that streamlines this process, and it's called Three Steps to Stop Fighting and Start Connecting. And it's a free video training that you could download on my homepage at coachvaleriegreen.com. And it's a, a video training that comes with an infographic that you can download and put on your phone and use it to stop an argument in its tracks. And you can get that at coachvaleriegreen.com. So now we'll go to your questions of the week. And uh, feel free if you're watching this to type a question in the comments and I'm happy to answer it. And um, until then, we'll go to the question that I got this week, which was, my husband wants to visit his family in Colorado for Christmas, but we've got two young children now, including a baby. And I'd like to take this year off from traveling, but he's dead set on traveling to see his parents and I feel disregarded. So how can we resolve this? And that's a really great question because um, I get a lot of, uh, you know, I've heard a lot of instances where couples are traveling with young children and so many challenges come up, right? So this is a really great um, question to, to use the solutionizing process on to demonstrate how it works. Okay. So the first ingredient is sugar or honey, <laughs> which means emotional safety, which is empathy, compassion, and validation, right? So I'll kind of, not knowing you, um, I'll guess and I'll demonstrate what might be underneath each one of your points of view so that you really learn how to step into the other person's shoes and feel connected, which is what allows you to want to create this win-win, right? So what's underneath his point of view? So um, the goal here is to get curious about why it's so important to him to travel to Chicago this year. So does, 
is this a really important family tradition that you've done every year that he's done since he was a little kid that really provides a sense of connection and belonging that he's not able to experience anywhere else? Um, does he have a dream of the baby's first Christmas being um, surrounded by extended family and that feels like it would be a, a dream that he'd have to give up if you didn't go to Chicago? So really giving him empathy and compassion and validation, saying, well, it makes sense that you feel this way. It makes sense that this is your beliefs and history around it. Even if you don't agree, that's the first step, is giving each other empathy and compassion and validation, stepping into his shoes and experiencing it from his point of view, right? And then for you, so what's most important about not traveling this year? And just really let him into your point of view. And, you know, uh, you know, this is about him giving you validation and empathy, compassion for your point of view. So is, um, are you just terrified that, you know, you're going to, um, like, the baby is going to be crying on the whole plane ride and you're just going to be exhausted and have a miserable time around his parents? Um, does it feel like climbing Mount Everest just to get your toddler into daycare, let alone getting ready for a vacation? So what is most important to you about not traveling? And let him really give you empathy and validation and compassion for your point of view. So like I said, that's the emotional safety, which is what makes the conversation sweet. And that's the prerequisite for coming up with a win-win solution. So now we'll go to the second part of the process, the eggs. <laughs> So this is where you determine where each of you are inflexible and where each of you are flexible. So maybe he's inflexible about not, tra uh, you know, he's, he's inflexible about not traveling. So he needs, you know, he's, it's, he's dead set on traveling, but maybe he could compromise on how long you go for or whether you stay in a hotel or, you know, other parts that could honor what you're inflexible on. So maybe you're inflexible on the trip being comfortable and feeling really supported, right? So what do you need to feel comfortable and supported? So could you go for less time? Could you stay in a hotel? Um, could you ask for him to support you in ways that maybe he never has before that will cause you to grow closer just because you're receiving that support in terms of getting the kids ready? So this is where you can get creative um, and really only compromise on what you're flexible on so that you both feel like you create a win-win solution. So I hope that this has been helpful for you and I'm happy to guide you deeper into coming up with this win-win solution because I do offer a free 90-minute strategy session where we can really open up this conflict and you'll leave with the plan for how to create this solution. And you can apply for that strategy session at my homepage as well at coachvaleriegreen.com. On the bottom of the page, there's a link to apply for a strategy session. And if you find yourself in conflict uh, and you want a tool that you can just easily have handy, um, you can also download that free video training, Three Steps to Stop Fighting and Start Connecting, which is also on my homepage. And I really hope that this is helpful for you. I would love for you to, um, for those who are watching after this is live, to post your comments below with more questions and I'm happy to answer them. I really wanna be a support to you this holiday season. Um, and I really wanna help you to hold the vision that conflict can bring you closer together. Because you know, there's couples that, that we all have seen where they could encounter a huge financial hardship, for example, that brings them closer together. And they do that because they're able to look at it like this three-legged race where they coordinate their movements together. And it's my passion to support couples in transforming conflict into a deeper sense of intimacy. So I really would love to connect you for, with you further on how to solve the conflict that you're a part of, um, or if the intimacy and passion is gone, how to reignite it. Um, so I would just love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear your questions. And so please post them below this video. And I'm wishing all of you a happy and healthy holiday season filled with laughter. And I look forward to seeing you next time.